This video is so big, we actually had to come outside and do it. Actually, my tables just aren't big enough. It's a beautiful day. I'm getting ready to do some flying, but let's talk about this new body first. I'm Chad. This is the Dorky and 40 RC channel, and we are going to make you faster today. Here it is, guys. The new GTR body from Protoform. The Nissan Pro Mod body. I know a lot of people, including myself, we would like to see stuff that's maybe a little bit more scale. And that's kind of how we all started out. But we all know that if you want to play with the big boys, you got to run the fast stuff or you're going to get left behind. So it's looking like this new GTR body is going to be the body that we need to pick up a little bit more mile per hour and some more time. We don't know who exactly has had this body, but I've seen reports of people definitely saying that it is worth it and that they are gaining some mile per hour. I've looked over the body. I'll show you some comparisons to the C7. I don't see any reason why it's not going to perform better. Oh, and by the way, stick around in this video because there's going to be a surprise. So it is a little bit windy out here, but I think we should be okay. So we've got both of the bodies laid out here. Let's take a look at it. Here we go. Side by side, obviously cut and not cut. But if you look at these bodies side by side, we can just start with the top down kind of view as this baby wiggles out here. And the biggest thing that I see right off the bat is the width of this body back here is it's a lot wider than the Corvette. If I take the Corvette body and I kind of stack it on top of it, you'll, you can see just that like we, it's, it's just a wider body in the back. So that should help us with air coming off there so the actual indentation here on this body is a lot less defined it's a lot more defined on the corvette so that should help out quite a bit as well the top is a lot longer and flatter see if i can get a look at that for you guys this is probably another good shot to look at the difference between the front scoops you can see how long and how there's way less of an abruption as far as going from front to back on this gtr body than over there on the corvette you know the hood scoop and everything like that really does disrupt the air that's why certain people have actually been cutting that out and there's even people that sell modifications to replace that so you can flatten that baby out they decided to leave a little bit here for scale which is okay. That's not going to uh, affect anything. We've got a big wide windshield there. You know, this area here is so much wider than the Corvette. Again, the lines that come back this way, as you can see, are clearly a lot more defined on the Corvette. So, you know, there's again it's more of a cut design and then this is one of the most telling signs how much more narrow the front end is than the corvette the corvette literally sits over top of it without any problems at all so you can see a lot less narrow there and again we've got pretty much the same profile going along the entire side of the body instead of the swooping and everything that's going on here the nose is of course a lot more flat um, as far as height goes it's definitely a higher nose as you can see than the corvette depending upon how high you're going to trim this thing um, you know this is definitely a more gentle slope right here so you know as far as when it comes to aerodynamics and stuff obviously you know we would like to have a complete freaking triangle right there but you know who cares we need to also have some style to these things there's some nice molded panel lines here if you want to do some detailing so it actually looks like you have a hood and they've got more panel lining going on throughout so things look a little bit better take a look at it here on the side there is a good side shot for you. And comparing that to the Corvette, not a whole lot different, about the same. Nothing really jumping out at me. Now the rear end, of course, we're gonna be cutting that baby all out. It does have a cool Nissan logo, which is pretty cool. Protoform stamped into it as well. What do you think so far? Pretty cool looking body, huh? 
I think so. So here's the deal. If you like the content that I do here, please go down and remember to like and leave a comment or subscribe if you want to see more stuff. The other thing I want you to do is I am going to give away a body. I've been waiting on a box. Now I got a box. So I've got a super body and I have the Firebird body with a brand new wing from McAllister with the Firebird. So you tell me which one you want. Most people are going to want the Firebird because it's faster. Obviously, it's still one of the fastest bodies that are out there. Just leave a comment down below anything if you leave multiple comments that's okay i'll just go through and pick out the regular the first one that you do and we'll have the drawing in about a week try to just leave it the one entry whatever you guys know the deal and then we'll do a random generator and we'll see who gets this we'll do that maybe sometime next week so i've just been kind of messing around with it here a little bit and chasing it in the wind the lexan feels pretty much about the same if anything it might just be a hair thicker or sturdier but that could just be because we still have actually everything around it the rear wheel wells seem to be a lot bigger which isn't a bad thing the front ones of course those look fine you know i don't see anything bad about this at all it's very very short so i always wanted one of those bitty bodies too but things just didn't work out before the end of the season so i would really love to have like some more scale looking stuff i'd like to do some kind of cool paint job on this thing and we'll see what we do i'm sure it'll end up just being a one coat spray can it's a window tint but oh well i do have the wing on order it's on back order i tried to cancel it but proline makes it very difficult to actually cancel orders so i'll be picking one up from bc race he's like 10 15 minutes away from me and we're going to start practicing together actually so i'll be getting one of his wings i know he's been working on one of these so look him up on facebook i'll put like a link down here in the description below so that way you guys can check out his wings they're top notch he'll even carbon wrap them for you so that way you never have to like take them apart it's only wings that come assembled so it's not like trying to figure out a jigsaw puzzle really cool stuff so hopefully the audio hasn't turned out too bad out here in the wind and all that good stuff appreciate all you guys and good luck in the actual sweepstakes and we will see you on the next video let me know if you got any questions about this bad boy